All right, welcome back, everyone. This is going to be talking about the grid lines that I have on my phone. So there's a couple different apps out there. One of them is called Notebook. That's a a um, paid app. I think it costs like a dollar or something. Uh, what I have, it's this here. It's called Material Q. And the top eight. There are already uh, set up. Same with the split grid. Now there's GC and GC copy. Those are the ones that I've set up. So you'll want to click on the three dots over here and go to edit. And so these are what I've set up. And so you're starting from the top line here. Uh, these are just your line colors. Uh, coming down the third and fourth line, those are the thickness of your lines. And so then coming down here, I'll turn this on so you can see. So you go down here, your center vertical line. And that's just the, the center line going straight down the center of my screen. The horizontal pull line, that's the crosshair, the one going from right to left crosshair one. Then my curl lines, there's nine there. The top eight are my bottom curl lines down there. And then the very bottom one is my top line up there in the left hand corner. And that lines up perfectly with the wind arrow. You'll have to play around with all these numbers. When I first set this up from a buddy, my because my phone is different from his phone, these didn't come anywhere close to lining up correctly on my phone. So I had to play with all the the you know left equals ten forty one key distance three fifty. I think the key. Di key line distance I kept the same but uh, your numbers there are, you're gonna have to play around with and just it's how I did it I marked a center line perfectly center I just opened up the app and saw where my center bullseye line was and just kind of marked there and then I just kind of roughly went 25, 50, 75% from there for my curl lines just kind of helps be consistent with the amount of curl I'm putting on my phone. Alternatively, if you don't want to download or if you have an Apple, because I don't think Apple allows overlays on their phones. What I originally did before I got this app, I just had a cheap screen protector on my phone. And I just drew a, I used a very fine Sharpie and just drew a, a thin line a little bit down my phone. And it seemed to work just fine. So if anyone has any questions about this or needs some help setting it up or anything, feel free to... Put some comments in the comment section and I'll answer what I can, help out any way I can. Alright, thanks for watching.